So sa uban nga wala na ka-attend ka gani ha. Again, naana ta sa fourth nga module. That is about uh, rotation. So karon proceed na ta for the second lesson that is about uh, rotation with variable angular acceleration. For lesson 1, that is about rotation with constant acceleration or constant angular acceleration. But this time, mag-deal na po ang mga problems nga variable ang iyahang given nga angular acceleration. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to apply the kinematic differential equations. So same tool gihapon that uh, we have used in the previous lesson in solving problems but this time not with constant angular acceleration but with variable angular acceleration the the value of the angular acceleration here no alpha is not constant but nag vary so alpha would be a function of time okay some form of a function or an expression or an algebraic algebraic expression now um let's analyze no the methods in solving problems with variable angular acceleration now ang ato ang technique ani same lang sa ato ang gigamit sa translation i hope inyo tong na hinumduman were in Ang atong gi note nga to is kanilang no. We have the displacement delta x, we have the velocity, and then we have the acceleration. So kanin siyang tulo, mo na siya mga important ting mga parameters in our uh, rectilinear translation or even in the curvilinear translation nga discussion. We're in for variable acceleration, if given ang delta x or the displacement, in solving for the velocity, we differentiate if we're going towards the right. And then, in solving for the acceleration from velocity, again, we differentiate. But if we move backwards no, from acceleration, if we're given a function for acceleration, and then ato ang target is to solve for the velocity, then we move towards the left. So the reverse of differentiation is integration. So, mana ato to gamit ang i. So, this one is d. D. And then, from velocity to displacement, the reverse again for the differentiation is integration. So, the same with rotation. The equivalent of linear displacement is the angular displacement. So, this one right here, the first parameter, theta. The equivalent of linear velocity in rotation, that is angular velocity represented by this small w okay and then the last one the equivalent of the linear acceleration for rotational object is the angular acceleration denoted by alpha so ang style ani if we're given a function for the angular displacement that is theta equals some function of time no in order to uh, find the function for the velocity, ang ato ani is from left to right. So therefore, we differentiate. So we differentiate the uh, function of the angular displacement so that we can arrive a function of the velocity. And by, uh, and by substituting time in our velocity function, then we can solve a numerical value for our velocity at that particular time. And after this one, if when you talk about nato ang ato ang angular acceleration, so again move from left to right. So di differentiate again the velocity function in order to solve for the function of our angular acceleration, alpha equals some function of time. And then uh, evaluating this function at a particular value of time so that you can solve for the numerical value of your angular acceleration at that particular time. Now, if we do the reverse, so if mag-start ta sa 
angular acceleration, either angular or velocity. So the reverse of differentiation nga method is integration. So we integrate the angular acceleration in order to solve for angular velocity. Okay, so that we can solve for a function of the angular velocity. And to solve for the angular displacement, so we need to integrate the angular velocity to arrive a function of the angular displacement. Now, basic na yung mga no? Sir, pwede ba mo jump? Actually, if ang given kay angular acceleration tapos pangita ang angular displacement, you can perform two integration, no? So, integrate ni mo kadoa si angular acceleration so that you can arrive directly to the angular displacement. But be mindful with the boundaries or the upper and lower limits of integration. And the same thing, if we are going to, or, or we are going from left to right, wherein the given is the angular displacement, no? And given is a problem, angular displacement. And then we are to find the angular acceleration. So just differentiate twice the angular displacement so that um, arrive ka sa function for the angular acceleration. So, kanira ato ang technique kagamito no? in solving problems with variable angular acceleration. So, let's try the first problem. So, we have here a body rotates now according to the relation alpha or the angular acceleration which is equal to some function of time 3t squared plus 4 wherein the displacement being measured in regions and the time is in seconds. So if its initial angular velocity is uh, 4 rad per second and the initial angular displacement is 0, compute now the values of the angular velocity and the angular displacement for the instant when time equals 3 seconds. So solve by using the analytical method and by the graphical method. So let's start with the analytical method. But before that, ato sa i lista ang mga given. So the given, we have the function of our angular acceleration, 3t square plus 4. And then we have the initial angular velocity. So ato siya i-denote by small w tapos na i 0 sa obos. So that is 4 rad per second and we also have the initial angular displacement that is theta not equals zero and then the time is equal to three second so the requirement first is the uh, angular velocity at t equals three seconds and also the Angular displacement at t equals 3 seconds, both analytically and graphically. Solution, mag-start ta using analytical method. So, analytical method. Ang analytical method class, mo na siyang magamit og formulas. No? Whereas, ang graphical method... Atong basis ani kay ang pagplat no wherein ato ni graph ang kaning ato ang motion kaning rotational motion sa ato ang body and then by using uh, the the formula for uh, kanang kuan planar objects then we can solve for the um, angular speed and angular displacement for the analytical method, let's start by solving solving the um, angular velocity. So angular velocity that is w. Okay. So given man taog um ko ano given man taog kanang equation for angular acceleration so alpha equals 3t square plus 4 and then sa ato ang previous slide so mag perform ta perform integration okay perform integration 
So why is it nga mag-perform attack integration? It's because our target is the, is the velocity. So remember that alpha is on the right side. Velocity is at the middle. So ang arrow is padong sa left. So perform integration, not differentiation. So let's integrate. We all know that the angular acceleration is equal to the derivative of the angular velocity all over time. So cross multiply, we have dw equals, we have alpha dt. And then our alpha is given by 3t squared plus 4. So we have dw equals 3t squared plus 4 and then dt. So nakaseparate na mga variables. This is now a uh, variable separable nga de. So therefore, we can uh, easily integrate this one to solve for the general solution. So integrate both sides. That is from the initial angular velocity to the final. And then since ang time can start money at zero, so from zero to time t. This is not a of three because how to target ni any is a function of the angular velocity in terms of time. So the a at a simplifying integration. So this is w, and then from initial angular velocity to final angular velocity, which is equal to this one. So if we integrate this, follow ta og kanang power rule no sa integration. So this is three t cube all over three. Okay. Plus 4, tapos mati na na siya dira. Ah. Evaluated again from 0 to t. Now, we're going to simplify this. So, mahimo na siya dira. Ah. Tara butangan og ali, no? So, we have w minus w naught is equal to, so, i-substitute ang t o gang 0. So, ang minus 0 pag-substitute, ma-0 na. So, therefore, let's sub substitute only the time t. So, the result would be uh, this one. Can you cancel it? No, ang 3. So, no need to write for number 3. Just the T cube. So, we have T cube plus 4T. Okay, more na siya. Now, since the initial, the initial angular velocity is constant, so therefore, ato na siya i-combine to the right side. So, W is equal to T cube plus 4T plus the initial angular velocity. Or that is W of T equals T cube plus 4T and then plus our initial angular velocity is 4 rad, so plus 4. Now, at T equals this is 3 seconds, no? So, at t equals 3 seconds. So, that is w of 3 <coughs> equals, this is uh, 3 cube plus 4 times 3 plus 4. Okay? So, if atra siya simplify, I think na nag on og mic, paki off na lang. So, this is 3 raised to the power of 3, and then plus 4 times 3, plus 4. So the result is 43. No? The result is 43. This is region per second. So that is the uh, angular speed or the angular velocity of our body after 3 seconds. Okay, so 43 region per second. So, ang next niya ni is we're going to solve for the theta. No? So, next nga slide. So, part of our solution for number 1, analytical, no? Analytical method. So, ang letter B is solving for Solving for the angular displacement theta. Okay. So, for the angular displacement theta, again, given taog 
um, angular velocity function that we have just um, that we have just find no sa previous nga slide kani kaning t cube plus 40 plus 4 so ato is what that is t cube plus 40 plus 4 so we're going to perform integration so perform integration perform integration why integration because <clears throat> si theta is na sa left whereas si si ko anang given nga angular velocity is at the center so from the center towards the left so pa pa, pa left ang direction na so perform integration not differentiation so naman tay ko ano naman tay relationship that is the angular velocity is equal to the derivative of the angular displacement with respect to time so cross multiply we have d theta equals w dt and then our w is given so therefore d theta is equal to t cube plus 40 plus 4 this is d theta next we are going to integrate this one because this is already a uh, kind of separable nga de okay so the uh, d theta that is from the initial angular displacement to the final and for the time the lower limit is from zero to t then perform uh, integration so that is theta evaluated from initial to final okay and then that is equal to here this is t cube all over 4 plus 4 t square all over this is all over 2 okay and then plus this one is 4 t evaluated from 0 to time t Okay, let's simplify. So we have theta minus theta naught is equals to. So same as so previous. If we evaluate this expression by zero, so ma zero gihapon. So just evaluate this one at time t. The result would be t cube all over four plus this is ma cancel da so plus two t square plus four t. Then, sa to agive no? So, since the initial angular displacement is given, which is equal to zero, so makuha na ni siya. Therefore, our equation for the displacement is theta t is equal to t cube all over 4 plus 2t square plus for t now we are going to evaluate this at t equals 3 second so our theta at 3 seconds is equal to this is 3 cube all over 4 plus 2 times 3 square plus 4 times 3 uh, wala, what day square, sorry. Na sobraan. Okay. So, kana siya. <clears throat> so, our theta is equal to ah, magamit na po tawag calculator. So, 3 cube all over 4 plus 2 times 3 square plus 12. So the result is this is I sorry. Okay, I think na I say up there. Sorry, sorry. Can you see a T cube? This is T to the fourth, sorry. Mag integrate there. Uh, this is T to the fourth day. Modang gamaya tong answer. So this is T to the fourth, so therefore this is T to the fourth. 
Okay. Mo isa. Mo, mo, mo ra isa yun. So, ato balik ko, no? Kinesia, this is not 3 but 4. Okay. So, the result is 50.25. No? This is 50.25. This is regions. Okay. So, this is how you're going to uh, solve this problem analytically. We're in a gamit ang formula, no? Labi na sa integration. We perform integration. Now, for the second step is we are going to use the graphical solution. We're in nagsaligata sa forma sa graph niyaning mga functions nga ito ang na-generate. So, by graphical solution, number two, graphical graphical solution. So, let's start with um, solving for so letter A. Solving for the uh, w or the angular velocity now we are going to graph the given angular acceleration no? so our given angular acceleration is equals to 3 t square plus 4 now this koan class can you see a graph or can you a function can be split into two functions no wherein our alpha can be written as alpha 1t plus alpha 2t. We're in our alpha 1, na to ilet, nga that is equal to the 3t square or the term that contains the second order, I mean second degree nga variable. And then the alpha 2, or ato la ihi, ibali ila designation. No? Let's start with the constant. Okay, so this is alpha 2, alpha 1. So this is alpha 2. Alpha 1 is the constant. Okay. Again, this is the constant function. And then this is the uh, second degree of function. Okay. I think na ay nabay na grace of hand. Ah, okay. Sige. So, continue ta. So, again, ang other term for second degree nga function is a quadratic function. So, don't forget that one. And with this, no? Can you see, ah? Na-separate na nato. So, the reason why I, I separate this one, nga na ate, uh, first function, second function, is that kung mag-graph ta ni, mas ayun. So, if we graph alpha versus time, so, if we graph alpha, and then this is the time, which is the, the abscissa, no? So, the first step is, imo sa i-graph ang alpha 1. So, alpha 1 is equal to 4, which is constant. So, ang 4 diri akin na akin siya. So, this is our alpha 1, no? We're in alpha is equal to 4. So, this is alpha 1 of t. So, no, from alpha 1, idagdag ni mo kay plus, dun siya, no? So, sum of two functions, dagdag lang, no? Idagdag lang. So, kung asa nag-start si alpha 1, nga to ka mag-start po sa imuhang alpha 2. So, si alpha 2 is a quadratic function, no? That is alpha as a function of time. I hope nga familiar mo sa kanang, kanang forma sa parabola because the shape of a quadratic function which is a second degree nga function is a, in a form of a parabola. So, since ang t man mo square, this is a parabola or a quadratic function that opens upward. Kay positive man po. If negative 3 ang nakabutang sa negative 3, no? negative 3 t square, that is a parabola or a quadratic equation that opens downward. So, kay kani, kay positive man, so it opens upward. The form of this parabola, ang ang sa 
right side lang atong i-take into account ha? although ang kaning parabola kay mo extend pa ni siya sa left side but since ang ato ang uh, quadria is ang right side naman so kanilang nga part sa parabola nagana na siya okay napagun na siya diri no ato ni butang nga imaginary okay kanilang nga part so this one right here is already the alpha we're in equal to alpha 2 plus alpha 1 nga functions no gio sa na siya and then ang time is from 0 and then let's assume na lang diri ah no from 0 to 3 okay so ato ko anon i distinguish ang mga areas nga na cover so basic uh planes lang ato ang i recognize or ato i i mean i determine first is kan siya this is our area 1 we in kaning rectangle no kaning rectangle and then the tagline color no para pud ma distinguish so and then our second area so can I see ya this is our area 2 okay so na naman ta na therefore ang ato ang w or Kung imo i remember ang ato ang discussion sa previous, no? The area, no? The area of the acceleration versus time nga graph is equal to the change in the angular velocity. So that is delta w is equal to the area under this curve. So that is equal to area 1 plus area now, for area 1, this is simply a rectangle. We're in, at the issue, this is the base, no? This is the base. And then, this is the height number 1. Okay? And then, at we consider po ang height aning area 2 as height 2. Okay? So, for the first area, that is base, that is in terms of time, times the height 1, that is in terms of alpha. Okay? That is in terms of alpha. For area 2, that is, kani, di, uh, kani siya nga plane figure ninyo nakita, ang tawag ganyan niya is spandrel, no? Spandrel na siya. So, ang area sa spandrel is equal to the, kuan po, no? it depends upon the, the nature of the, kanang kuan, nature of the function. So, ang general formula for any type of function, no? General formula, tara din, no? General formula. general formula for the area below a function below a function y is equal to kx raised to n no na kay constant na k tas x raised to n so ang area niya is area equals 1 over n plus 1 lang. So, kung sa degree, plus hag o 1, tapos base times the height of that function. So, marni inyo hang hinamduma, no? The general formula for an area of a function of the form y is equal to k, x, n. So, kanagin nga form. That is why, after siya break down nga formula para makasundog taan nga form y is equal to k, x, n. So, ato ang area 2 is, I mean, alpha 2 is of the form y equals kx raised to 2, okay, second degree man. So, since this is second degree, so our n is equal to 2. So, therefore, that is 1 over 2 plus 1, or that is 1 third, no? Tapos, same lang sila og base sa area 1, you know, same og base, but the height is h2. Now, for h1, no? Atibutang, but h1 is just equal to 4. Now, for h2, how can evaluate for h2? So, h2 is the value of alpha, no? The value of alpha at t equals 3. Okay? So, to solve for h2, just evaluate the this second function, kaning alpha to evaluate nimo at t equals 3. So, that is 
3 times 3 square. So, this is 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27. Okay. So, the second height is 27. Now, na naman eh. And then, also the base is equal to the time in 3 seconds, no? Ang distance na niya, that is in, in 3 seconds. So, B is equal to 3. So, therefore, so, therefore, let's add some partitions lang. So, therefore, our delta W is equal to, uh, again, at a rewrite, base height 1 plus 1 over this time 3 na, kay 2 plus 1 man. Tapos, base times height number 2. So, our base is 3, height 1 is 4, plus we have 1 third, the base is 3, the height is 27. Okay? So, therefore, our change in angular velocity So, we have 12 plus 1 third multiplied by 3 times 27. So, the result is 39. Okay? Rad per second. Our answer in the analytical solution is 43. So, the final. It's because this is just the change in the angular velocity. Ang ipangita man is W, which is the final velocity at t equals 3 seconds. So, remember that the change in the angular velocity is equal to the final velocity minus the initial velocity. So, to solve for the final, that is W equals change in the angular velocity plus the initial velocity. So, therefore, our change in angular velocity is 39 plus our initial velocity is given by 4 rad per second, so 39 plus 4, the answer is 43. Okay, this is 43 region per second. Okay, so this is our angular velocity at t equals 3 seconds using the graphical solution. So, for the next slide, atrapod solvon ang Kantong theta. So again, this is still graphical solution. So graphical solution. But this time, we're going to solve for uh, theta. Okay, we're going to solve for theta. We all know that we have already solved for the uh, function of the angular velocity no wt sa previous na tong, uh, slide kan siya wt equals t cube plus 4t plus 4 so ato is what t cube plus 4t plus 4 okay so, mga itong ang technique, imo ni siya i-break down into um, several functions. So, we have wt equal to w3t plus w2t plus w1. So, mas may i-arrange ang imo function from the highest exponent towards the constant term. So, ato i-let nga ang first function is the constant, no? Para mo na siya ay sa yun nga i-graph. So, this is for the constant. And then, our second function, W2, is the linear part, 40. So, this is linear. Okay, imo na siya i-graph. Line ang imo ma-generate. Whereas the third function, that is equal to t cube. Now, this is a third degree polynomial. So, ang form ano niya kay cubic, no? Form niya kay cubic na function. And with this, ato na i-graph ang ato ang, <coughs> ang, ato ang 
uh, angular velocity with respect to time. Okay, so this is our angular velocity, then our time, so horizontal axis. So let's start with the constant. So W1 is equals to 4. So mag-start yan po sa 4, no? So this is 4. Start na dria. Okay, this is our W1. Now, at to i-add ang W1 ug W2, so mupatong ra si W2. Since line man siya, so we're going to draw a straight line with positive slope. Okay? Because the slope here is 4, so therefore, paano siya? Starting at this one, no? Mag-start yung ka kung asa nag-start si W1. So, mag-drawing ka og straight nga line paana. But, I think, ito lang erase because hidden line lang nato because this is not yet the final form of our function pa hidden line lang paana lang so kani siya nga representation this is already w2 plus w1 nga function now ang last nga nato nga i graph is the cubic function t cube so ang ang forma sa t cube more or less mo age siya zero at tapos mo pataas siya so since ang ato ang initial point here is not the origin kay Again, kung mag-agtag functions, ang, e, ang starting aning t-cube is kung asa po nag-start ang katong previous ng mga functions ngayon mong gi-graph. So, kaning w2, nag-start at 4, and also the, and also the uh, first function start at 4. So, dira po ta mag-start o plots atong cubic. So, ang cubic, steeper kina siya nga curve, no? Paana? Salag siya. Okay? Again, this is our w which is equal to the sum of W3 plus W2 plus W1. So, na-add up sila, no? Pataas sila ang pag-add up. And again, na-add rin nga to ang time equals 3 seconds. So, from 0 to 3. Now, na-atay, tulog ka mga areas na na-generate. So, atay siya ipang labeled in terms of color. So, start ta with area 1. Kaning rectangle sa abos. So, area 1. Muna siya ang area. So, na siya ay H1, which is equal to 4. Okay? Tapos, next, <clears throat> we have this, the second area. Iya kuan kay, kanang triangle siya, no? Kay lines mong gani. So, this is our area 2. I hope makita pa ang designation for area 2. So, yeah, height is H2 lang. H2 is evaluated using, say, a function, no? W2 equals 40 evaluated at T equals 3 seconds. So, that is 4 times 3. That is equal to 12. That is the height. Now, same lang sila og base, no? Ang base equals to 3. Now, for the last area, kanang sa cubic na part. So, pili lang taog. Violet. So, this is area 3. Ako lang ibutang sa gawas. That is area 3. So, kanis siya. Although ang iyang base is kanis siya. Basing magtumog ang iyang base kay kani. So, again, the base is the uh, not the slant line but the horizontal uh, line. Although maging anay mo function of form, ano? Naging anay na siya. So, yung may consider is kanigid nga base. Siyempre, base dapat na horizontal. Not this one. Basig ka na yung mahang i-measure. Okay. Di na mao. Kanig yung base. Tapos, kanira yung height. Delete na siya ang kaning height nga gikan rin ah. Okay. Di na siya mao. Kanilang height kaning last. Okay. Kanilang. Okay. So, the height. Ano niya? So, we have here H3 is evaluated dili na nagihapon sa kaning cubic ng function, no? So, this is 3 cube. This is equal to 27. Okay? 3 times 3 times 3. That is 27. So, dili ah, as ito gamitin ang general ng formula. We're in Ang area below the angular velocity versus time graph 
is equal to the change in the angular displacement. So that is delta theta is equal to area 1 plus area 2 plus area 3. Okay. Our area 1 is naka quantia, naka rectangle. So we have here again, kalimtag buta ang base nga B. Okay, we have base times height 1 plus the area 2 is 1 over, ang yang degree kay 1 man, so that is 1 plus 1, base times height 2 plus the area t 3 is a cubic function. So n is 3 plus 1, base times height 3. Now, at siya is simplify. So we have change in theta is equals to base height 1 plus 1 half base height 2 plus this is 1 fourth base height 3. Okay. So our base is 3 times the first height is 4 plus we have 1 half base is 3 height the second height is 12 plus 1 fourth tapos the base is 3 the, the third height is 27 okay so change in theta is equal to <clears throat> this is 3 times 4 plus 0.5 times 12 plus 0.25 1 fourth 3 times 27 the answer is 38.25 sakto ba 38.25 okay i think nakuha ng andrea sorry this is 3 times 12. Okay. Napay 3 times 12. So press equal. The answer is 50.25. So 50. This is, sorry. Atala uh, erase. Ang answer 50.25. This is region. Ang ipangita, the final angular displacement. So, remember, our change in delta, I mean change in angular displacement is the final minus the initial. However, from the given, our initial displacement is equal to zero. So, therefore, mas zero na. Ang ato ang final angular displacement is just equal to the change in the angular displacement which is equal to 50.25 regions. Okay? Mapun siya ito nakuha using the analytical solution. Okay? Na ay pangota na so far? So go ahead. Sige. Yes, uh. Centroid sa triangle. I think sa pagkuan na siya. Pag-locate siguro na siya sa kuan. Pag-locate na siya sa sa centroid. Sa, sa total area. Murag lahi to siya nga kuan. Lahi putog style ang ilaha o ilang gigamit. O as, o, as long as ang kuan mong ang definition sa change in displacement is the area below the curve. So if ang kanisya nga 
curve kay uh, in terms of angular displacement i mean this one is the angular velocity with respect to time no or the angular velocity with respect to time so ang area ani is the displacement but that is not the final displacement yet no mo nang ang area ra na the change na the change gina siya in ang in angular displacement oh so sa katong ko an actually sa sakto gino nag nagbasa sa motion curves nani siya sa sa motion curves nga part i hope nagbasa mo adto na added to a table no shortcut for solving the area the areas of different uh, functions of this form na i cubic na I linear na I constant na poy quartic so on and so forth if magkataas so man atong gamito na ning general formula kaning a function of the form y is equals to k x raised to n so man ning gamiton okay so what else Napay pangutan na? Wala na? So again, ang purpose sa pag-breakdown aning main function na to into simpler functions in terms of constant, linear, and cubic kay para makasolve ta ni graphically. Kay kung <clears throat> kanila po nga graph ato i-plot, plot da yun, then finding the area. Of course, this is a complex graph. So, ang may tabo, di na po graphical, no? Analytical kaya po kayo mag-perform kayo pag-integration. So, mabalik ra kaya po na sa itong gibuhat sa previous. But for this one, simple lang ang mga uh, operations at ang gigamit. Multiplication lang and addition. So, this is the method of kanangkuhan graphical solution. Okay, so if one ay pangota na, again na, same ra kaya Ilang final answers for analytical and graphical. So let's proceed to the last example. We have here the rotation of a pulley is defined by the relation theta equals 2t to the fourth <coughs> minus 30t squared plus 6, where theta is measured in radians and t is in seconds. So compute thou the values of angular velocity and angular acceleration at the instant when t equals. <clears throat> 4 seconds. Unaan sa natog sa itong given. Given ta og equation for the angular displacement in terms of time, 2t to the 4th minus 30t square plus 6. And then, given po ta at t equals 4 second. The requirement is to solve for the Angular velocity and the angular acceleration. So, solution. Let's start by solving for the angular velocity. <clears throat> so, for the angular velocity, we are given the, the function of the angular displacement. So, we're going to perform perform differentiation so nganong differentiation man again ang placement sa angular displacement kaysa left si angular velocity sa <clears throat> sa middle so from left to right perform differentiation no not integration so from our given nga function theta is 2t to the fourth Minus 30 t square plus 6. So take derivative. So d theta equals power rule. So 80 cube minus this is 60 t plus derivative sa constant 0. This is with respect to theta. So multiply both sides by 1 over d theta. So the result d theta, I mean dt di. So, d theta over dt equals the velocity, which is equal to the function 8t cubed minus 60t. To solve for the uh, angular velocity at 
t equals 4 seconds, so evaluate this function. So that is at t <coughs> equals 4 second. So we have w of 4 equals 8 times 4 cubed minus 60 times 4. Okay? So ato, give it a calculator. We have 8 times 4 cubed minus 60 times 4. So the result is 272. So we have 272. This is region per second. Okay. <clears throat> I can do ha is the angular acceleration. So solution letter B solving for the uh, angular acceleration. So we're going to perform differentiation gehapon. So, ngayon differentiation, ang alpha nato kay na nasa right side, tapos na kuha na sa tag equation for the angular velocity. So, from left to right, perform differentiation. So, sa previous nga slide, we are given with this function of the angular velocity. So, that is W of T equals A T cubed minus 60T. Now, integrate both sides. So, the DW equals power rule. So, A times 3, 24 T squared minus sun minus 60 D theta. Multiply both sides by 1 over DT. Okay, so the result dw over dt, this expression is equivalent to the alpha, and that is equal to the function nga na derived lang. So 24 t square minus 60. And then at t equals 4 seconds, so our alpha of 4 equal to 24 times 4 squared minus 60. Okay? Ato ang final result. 24 times 4 squared minus 60. So we have 3, 2, 4. So the final answer, 3, 2, 4 regions per second square na siya kay angular acceleration man. So that is our final answer. So, ato sana siya end.